Well, welcome back and you may have noticed some new additions to street signs in downtown Abilene like Santa Claus Lane and Storybook Way. We sent KTAB's Victor Satello to the Storybook Capital of America to learn more. Well, thank you, Stacy. We are here in downtown Abilene with Lynn Barnett. She's with the Abilene Convention and Cult Visitors Bureau. Cultural Affairs, Abilene Cultural, Cultural Affairs. Affairs Council. Yeah, and but we're, we're both part, uh, part of the Chamber of Commerce. Both, both part of the Chamber. Yes, exactly. So we're here to talk about well, the sign that's right up above your head here. Right. Tell us right. about Storybook Way, and there's one more. There is. There is Santa Claus Lane, which is also Cedar Street, and we wanted to just sort of embrace the whole storybook uh, theme and events going on, and we thought it would be a really nice thing for visitors particularly to come across these signs and to recognize that this is throughout our downtown. So we partnered with the city and with the National Center for Children's Illustrated Literature. Well, and I, and I want to kind of take this from the beginning. Where did the idea come from? When did y'all start talking about this? Maybe... Well, several years ago, we, we thought about it, and then we thought it would make sense. You know, once we had the storybook garden, and then, of course, the nickel has been an anchor for all of this that has been going on now for 20 years. So we thought it would just be nice to tie several of the uh, what we've been doing together, and particularly adding the benches downtown. We now have 25 benches, so they connect. Uh, Everman Park with the Santa uh, Adams and Spalding Storybook Garden, so it all seemed to make sense. It, yeah, it all, like you said, all seems to make sense, and and, and it's it's a theme now. A, kind of a theme is growing here, and yes. one that Abilene has been working on, being the storybook capital of of Texas, and and even further maybe. Yes, and now we're the storybook capital of America, and really the goal for this is to make Abilene distinct and unique, so that that when you think of something or when visitors come here, they know they have something special. You know, there's lots of mid-sized cities in the United States and in Texas, but we wanted to do something that would, would really make our place unique and special. You want to pe you want people to think of Abilene, and you want them, when they think Abilene, you want them to think storybooks. You want them to think children's literature, and, and, and we have reflected that here in downtown, and those signs are a part of it. Hey, absolutely. And we also thought it is a very good fit for Abilene because we're all about families and children and there is really very few things more important to families to do with their children than read with them. So we're hoping this encourages them on many different levels to, to read aloud to their kids, to encourage their kids to read, you know, come to the Children's Art and Literacy Festival. So we're just trying to promote that whole um, effort in our downtown. And as we're talking, we have a family and some kids walking behind us, and that's exactly what we like to see, and that's the whole idea behind these signs. Let's talk about the signs themselves. Uh, this one, Storybook Way, that is obvious. This right. is a main street down the middle of Abilene, right. and what what a perfect way to to say that here, exactly. right? Exactly, exactly. We thought Cypress Street, because it is so central to our downtown, obviously, it would make a lot of sense to have this storybook way and kind of the heart of what we're doing. And then the, on the next street with the nickel is Santa Claus Lane because this all really started with a visit from William Joyce who wrote and illustrated the book Santa Claus. That's what you know the big sculpture over here is from and that was, through that discussion initially um, the idea of the nickel came to be. So we have these two streets now not renamed but named also uh, for for our theme here in Abilene. Is there is there a uh, a plan to expand that? Probably not. We we thought we would just do this street from North First to the Civic Center and then on Cedar Street from First to Third. So we just wanted to add again another element to what we're doing to help tie this all together when people are walking from sculpture to sculpture or bench to bench and then they end, end up at the nickel. 
Well, and it's a really great thing to see, obviously, families like they are over here walking around, looking at the sculptures, reading the benches, and looking up at the, at the signs. It's kind of what this is all about, and it's what happens during the festival downtown, except this place is so full. Yeah. Yes. And you know, another thing that we're very grateful for is not only the the funding that we get for all of this, which we are very grateful for, but we were I was just totaling up. It looks like we have over 400 volunteers that help us put on the calf festival, which just sounds unbelievable, but when you start looking at all the different committees and the the costume contest and what and the venues you know, it's so it's people not only being generous, contributing uh, funding to make it happen, but there are also so many people who are generously contributing their time to make all of this happen. We certainly would be able to do very little were it not for everyone who's helping. Well, and you, you brought up funding, and, and uh, no tax dollars were were spent in putting up these signs, right? That's I mean, right. That's right. We worked with the city. We were very, um, very grateful for them, their willingness to work with us. They helped us, you know, figure out the design that would work and what would work for them and how it would happen. So, but no, we are, this is a, a project that the Cultural Affairs Council is funding the signage. Lynn Barnett, thank you very much thank for so much. joining us, and uh, we will talk to you next okay. time. Okay. Thank right. you very Sounds much. Good. Thank Stacey, you. Stacy, back to you in the studio. All right. Thank you, Victor. Now, if you would like to take a walk down Storybook Way in Santa Claus Lane, you can visit downtown Abilene. Storybook Way is Cypress Street, and Santa Claus Lane is Cedar Street. Both streets have the honorary name from North First to North Six.